I'm Pastor Tim Gerbing. Welcome to our Wednesday devotion. I'm pastor at Christ Lutheran Church in Pewaukee, Wisconsin. There was a village that had a large church in the town square. It was long past its heyday. It was served by an old pastor who had faithfully ministered there for decades, but things had greatly changed from the early days. No longer was the church filled with hundreds of people every Sunday. In fact, on most Sundays, no worshipers showed up at all. But the old pastor still conducted services, speaking and singing and praying over empty pews. Every few weeks, a couple of old widows would come to worship. They had moved to a distant town years before to be closer to their adult children, but they still felt compelled to worship at their old church whenever they felt fit enough to make the trip. On one of those Sundays, one of the widows asked the old preacher, Why do you still hold services when no one even shows up? And the pastor said, If no one else is here but me, I know that God is still here. And I know that God accepts my worship and that he still hears my prayers for all of his people. People often complain about worship. They don't like the service days or times or they don't like the music. They don't like the mannerisms of the pastor or the way he preaches. They may complain about the length of his sermons. But worship isn't about being entertained. It's about each individual expressing the appreciation they have for their Savior. It's about adoring the greatness of their God, the wonders of his mercy and love. It's about hearing again the old, old story that in truth never gets old, the story of God's love of Jesus' sacrifice, of full forgiveness offered and freely received with no strings attached, no matter what a person has done with their life. There was a time when the Apostle Paul preached on and on until midnight in a room on the third floor. An unfortunate member fell asleep and then fell out of the window and died upon landing. Paul encouraged his members not to worry. And by the Spirit's power, he raised the young man from the dead. That day became a special day. For those people who stayed, they saw the power of God, and they heard the message of his love. For the times that you have missed worship, or have not paid attention when you did attend, what did you miss? You missed out on experiencing God's power and his message of love. And you missed out on sharing, along with his saints, the opportunity to publicly express your adoration of the goodness of your great God. Let's listen to our scripture account today. It comes from the book of Acts, Acts chapter 20, verses 7 to 12. On the first day of the week, we came together to break bread. Paul spoke to the people. And because he intended to leave the next day, he kept on talking until midnight. There were many lamps in the upstairs room where we were meeting. Seated in a window was a young man named Eutychus who was sinking into a deep sleep as Paul talked on and on. When he was sound asleep, he fell to the ground from the third story and was picked up dead. Paul went down, threw himself on the young man, and put his arms around him. Don't be alarmed, he said. He's alive. Then he went upstairs again and broke bread and ate. After talking until daylight, he left. The people took the young man home alive and were greatly comforted. May the Lord our God bless and keep you this day and always. Amen.